Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can share a USB drive on the USB port of your TP-Link router. TP-Link routers can share a USB drive either with Samba Share that can be accessed from Windows, Mac or Linux or they can share it in FTP and Internet FTP and also they can share it as a media drive. In this video I'm gonna cover the Samba Share and the media drive share. If you want me to cover the FTP share and also the FTP on the internet, let me know in the comments section. The first step is to make sure that the USB drive is formatted in a file system that the TP-Link router can understand. TP-Link routers can understand file systems that are NTFS, EXFAT, and FAT32. In our example, I'm using a USB drive that is formatted in NTFS format, and the TP-Link router I'm using is the AXE5400. But the instructions I'm gonna show you apply to other USB drives and also to all TP-Link routers that have USB port. Now let's insert the USB drive in the USB port of your TP-Link router. If the router has many ports, make sure to insert the USB drive in the 3.0 port and the 3.0 port can be recognized by its blue color. The next step is to go to the administration page of the TP-Link router on your PC. So open a web browser and go to this URL tplinkwifi.net and then continue to cite here because it is HTTP not HTTPS and then put the password for the administration of your TP-Link router. Now click on advanced and on the left scroll until you find USB click on USB and then click on storage sharing. In this web page, we need to make sure that the TP-Link router recognized the USB drive and it recognized also its size. So here it recognized it correctly. Make sure that the share button is toggled to on and scroll. And then you have the network share name and here you can change the network share name. Do not keep it by default. So I'm gonna put here KST-share and then scroll. And you find here Samba for Windows and Samba for Mac OS and Linux. So make sure that it is enabled. If it is not enabled, enable it here. And then for local FTP, we said that we're not going to cover it in this video. So I'm going to disable local FTP and scroll and internet FTP. It is disabled by default. And under file sharing here, you have something called secure sharing. So it is disabled by default. But here it is important to enable it because this way the connection to the share will be more secure and especially Windows will not have trouble connecting to the share if you enable this one here. So let's enable it and then here you can select which folders you want to share. So click on the sand disk here on the arrow next to it and then you have all these folders. I'm not gonna share the hidden folders so I'm gonna uncheck system volume information and recycle bin and I'm gonna leave files and media to share them and now scroll and you see that here the TP-Link router will give you two users by default the first one is called admin and it will give it a random password and it has read and write permissions on the share and the second one it is called visit and also it has a random password and it has only a read permission so here we can change the name and the password of these users and I advise you to do this because if a hacker want to access your USB drive, the first thing that they will do is that they're gonna try to use the default names. So let's change the admin name here. Click on the edit button. And for admin, I'm gonna call it KSTSU for KST super user. And for the password, look here, it is a random password. So we need to put a strong password and then click on save and save again. And for the visit, we're gonna change the user to and the password. So I'll click on edit and let's name it here KSTGU for guest. And for the password also let's put a strong password and click on save and save again. And scroll and you see here that media sharing, it is shared by default. Media sharing it is so that you can access everything media on this USB drive like videos and pictures and music from your TV or for any media player. So here, if it was not enabled, just enable it and then click on save. And this is all you have to do to share your USB drive. 
So now let me show you how you can access this share from a Windows PC. If you want me to cover Mac OS and Linux, let me know in the comments section. So this is my Windows 11 PC. The first thing you need to do here is to go to the settings in the Windows PC so to adjust the file share. So press Windows I and then on the left click on Network and Internet. Scroll to the bottom and then click on Advanced Network Settings. And here click on Advanced Sharing Settings. And make sure that Network Discovery is enabled. So enable it. It is off by default. And then also File and Printer Sharing also enable it. And then close the settings in Windows. And now let's open File Explorer. And in File Explorer here in the URL place, click in it and then type in backslash backslash KST share. And this is the share name that we have put. And then hit enter on your keyboard. It will ask you for your credentials. Remember, it gave us two credentials. One with read write and the second one with read only. Here I'm going to test the read write one. So we named it KST super user. And let's put its password. So let's click on OK here. And this is the share. Double click on it. And you see that we have the files and the media shares. So if you go, for instance, for files here, you see that I have a document. If you right click in it and then choose new, you can create a new folder because you have read write permissions. And if you double click the file, it is a LibreOffice file. It's going to open LibreOffice and the file will open and you can save it also if you want to. So here, if you're liking this video so far, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And let's save the file here, for instance, Control S. And we're going to save it in Word format. And let's close it. So now that you saw how to access the shared USB drive in Windows, I'm going to switch to my Roku TV to show you how the media server will appear on my Roku TV. So to access the media server from your smart TV, whether it's a Roku TV or other operating system, you're going to find something called Media Player. In Roku, it's called the Roku Media Player. So launch the Roku Media Player or the Media Player on your TV. And here you choose what you want to watch. I'm going to choose all. And then here you can choose the KST share. So this is the media server that we created on our TP-Link router. So select it. And let's here see that I want to see the videos, for instance, all videos. And this is the only video that I've put on the USB drive. So I'm going to play it. Hi everyone. And, this video and here it is playing. And if you want to see the pictures, it is the same thing. So go back and then choose pictures. And here also all pictures. And it's going to discover all the pictures that you have on the USB drive. And it's going to open the picture when you select it. If you find this video to be helpful, don't hesitate to share it so that the maximum number of viewers can benefit from it. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.